guys, it's Lizzie. So you may be like, ooh, she wearing the same clothes as yesterday's video. That's because it is yesterday. I decided I was going to film my June TBR today just because I already have all the books pulled and some of these I have to start taking to class with me or should be already taking them to class with me. So I decided I was going to just get this filmed. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it because my June TBR is kind of on the big side in terms of books. I have quite a few books pulled and I'm not on summer break. Um, I've mentioned this before, but my summer break is basically from July 25th until August 18th, sort of, except I have to come back early for RA training. So that's kind of my summer break and then I'll have times where I'm not in class and I'll be able to do a lot of reading in August. But the fact that I'm wanting to read 10 books in June with having classes, I'm a little bit thinking this might not be a month I complete my TBR, which let's be real, how many months do I actually complete my TBR? So I'm going to try to keep this from being super duper rambly, but we'll see. The first book that I am reading in June is Hunger by Knut Hampson. Boiler alert, I already finished this. I have to have it read completely for tomorrow, but I read most of this in June, so I put it on my June TBR. Um, I'll talk more about this in my end of the month wrap up, but it was school reading, if that tells you how excited I was about it. Next book is Hunger and a Natural History by Sharman F. Russell. I've read three chapters of this for class so far. It's okay, um, but I have to read it, I believe, by the end of this month. Next is the one school reading book that I'm actually, like, 100% sure I'm gonna like. I've already read it, and it is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Next, I have The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. This is a book for class that's not technically required to my class, but it's required to me because I have to write a paper to make up for missing class on Friday. So this is the book that she and I kind of decided that I have to read. 480 pages, which is a lot and it's dry, but I know that it's manageable. So this is kind of my, in between all my other required school reading and fun reading, I need to read this. So this is gonna happen in June because my paper's due in July. Moving on to my fun books, I am currently participating in the June readathon for the yearathon on book reads. I will link that group down below um, along with my own good reads. But I picked up a couple of fun books to read, hopefully during this readathon and then a couple books to read the rest of the month. For my own personal reading choices, I'm only reading six books, which is what I read in May. We'll see if these all get read. The next two books I plan to read in June to start off my fun reading are Frozen Heat and Deadly Heat by Richard Castle. These are the fourth and fifth books in the Nikki Heat series, and the sixth book is coming out soon. I don't know quite when it comes out, but I have told myself because I'm broke, I can't buy it till I finish the rest of the series, so of the ones I have, so I'm hoping to finish these two so that when the time comes that I can afford the book, I can buy it and actually read it. The June theme is continuing series that you've started, so that's why I picked up these two, because the rest of the books that I'm reading in the readathon were You Deserve a Drink by Mamrie Hart, because I knew I was going to finish it in the week anyway, Hunger, Work on Portrait of a Lady, and then the next book that I'm going to show you, so I decided to actually pull some books that fit into the readathon. So I pulled these two. I don't know if I'm going to read both of these this week, um, just because of how much other reading I have to do. But I'm on duty this weekend, so there's a chance I could potentially finish both of these. We'll see. The next book on my TBR, again, is also in my TBR for the readathon, and that is Blankets by Craig Thompson. I talked about this in my weekly whatnot last week because I picked it up uh, at the library, and this is a beautiful, beautiful graphic novel. I haven't read a ton of graphic novels, but the art in here is beautiful, and even though it's a big book, I don't think it's going to take me very long to fly through it. I already read the first chapter, and it only took me like maybe 10 or 15 minutes to actually read the first chapter, but I had to put it down because I had a bunch of schoolwork to work on that I should have been working on instead of reading. I made myself do my schoolwork, but hopefully I will be picking this up really soon. So I, I'm not planning to try and read this whole book, but I am going to try and make some progress in it. So the last three books I'm probably not going to work on until the end of the month because I have so much reading planned for the beginning of this month. I wanted to kind of only give myself three books that I could pick up if I was feeling it. If I'm not feeling it, I don't have to pick them up. So these are on my TBR, but they may not actually get finished. And the first one is Between Worlds by Jacqueline e. Smith. This was on my TBR for the past month. I didn't actually get around to reading it because of how much school reading I actually had to do. I really want to see where her characters, where she takes them, um, as well as I really just want to read this and... Yeah, so it's on my TBR. The next book I picked up this month, I read a chapter of it and then I put it down because I was already hitting six books on my TBR and I was already feeling kind of overwhelmed so I stopped reading this for a little bit and 
justified it by picking up Mamrie's book, which was totally worth it. But it is The Dark Side of Nowhere by Neil Shusterman. This is kind of going to be my tester to see if I want to keep reading Neil Shusterman. I read Unwound and loved it. I read Unholy and I was like, yeah, this was not what I was feeling. Not because it wasn't well written. The style matched, so I loved the writing style. But the problem was it was just so slow to me that it didn't make me want to go pick up the rest of the series because I didn't want to have to work through... I know there's at least two more books in that series, so I won't be picking up that series anytime soon, but this, I believe, is a standalone, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a chance. And the first chapter has me intrigued, but I didn't keep reading it because I really wanted to read Mamrie's book, so I read Mamrie's book instead, and it was totally worth it. Um, but so this is on my TBR to hopefully read in June, but we'll see. Last but not least is a book that I have been wanting to read for forever and it just keeps getting pushed away. So I decided to put it on my TBR and most likely, honestly, it's going to be between this and Between Worlds of the first fun book that I pick up after the readathon. Because this one I've been saying since I think January that I wanted to read it and I think I got it back in November of last year. So um, it is The Bling Ring by Nancy Jo Sales. I do still need to take the sticker off. I realized with this one and The Hunger Games, I haven't taken the stickers off these books but it bugs me, so that's probably what I'm going to do after this video is take the stickers off. I don't like movie covers usually, but for some reason I'm okay with it on this one. Hopefully going to get around to this one. This and Between Worlds are kind of my I'm pretty positive you two are going to get read this month, but we'll see. I've said that before in other videos and it didn't happen, so yeah. Those are the 10 books I plan on reading in June. We'll see if that actually happens. If you've read any of them, let me know down below what you think so that if I need to put a priority list of which ones I want to read first. I will definitely look at your reviews. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about anything, let me know down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!